a current carrying wire will feel a magnetic field, but a current carrying wire will also generate its own magnetic field. So, current carrying wire generates magnetic field. And so if, if it helps you think about it, uh, you can just imagine that a current carrying magnet, a current carrying wire is a magnet. And so then in a magnetic field, it would make sense for a magnet to experience a force, whether that's attractive or repulsive. So the equation that governs the The magnetic field generated by a current carrying wire is P equals not I over two pi, where R is the radius of the R is just how far away from the wire you are. And then Mu naught is a new thing that you have not seen. This is the permeability of free space, which is not to be confused with the epsilon naught that we saw earlier, which was the permittivity of free space. So they have different, completely different concepts. One is basically how easy is it for an electric field to exist in this area? And then the other is how easy is it for a magnetic field to exist? And the value for this thing is One point two five minus one point two six times ten to the minus six, and the units on that are meter kilogram divided by second squared amp squared. So the M is meter, the S is second, the A is for amps, which is current, and the KG is kilogram. And remember we saw how to a separate right hand rule for this magnetic field where you put your thumb in the direction of the current and then your fingers curl around in the direction of the magnetic field. So the magnetic field here would, on the right hand side, it would point into the board. And then on the left hand side of the wire, it would come out of the board. So this right hand rule was put your thumb in direction of current and then fingers curl 
direction of the magnetic field. Any questions about this one? Okay. Then, so that was just for a straight wire. Now, we've also seen that you can have a loop of, you can make your wire into a loop and it still has the current flowing through it. The magnetic field for this situation is mu naught i over 2r, where capital R is the radius of the loop of wire. And this is the magnetic field inside of the loop. And we saw another right-hand rule for this one, where you put your fingers in the direction of the current, and then your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field. So in this picture, the magnetic field is coming out of the board. So put fingers in direction current and then your thumb points direction of magnetic field. Any questions about that one? Okay, so then one last equation is what happens if we put a bunch of loops of wire right next to each other? So we just have a stack of a loop of wires, basically. Uh, so in other words, I can draw a crude picture of what that would look like. This is called a solenoid, or as we'll see later, an inductor. And so this is just a bunch of loops of wire that are all next to each other. It's hard to picture with the way I've drawn it. Let's say that the current is going in this direction. Then that would generate a uniform magnetic field like this. And the equation for that magnetic field is mu naught n i or mu naught n um, over L, where big N is the number of loops. I is the current. L is the length of the solenoid. And mu naught is still the permeability of free space. And then instead of writing n over l, you can write lowercase n, which is the turn density of the soul. Is 
So we're just going to introduce this now, and then we'll talk about solenoids more later. Uh, I guess the important thing here is that this is a uniform magnetic field. And sometime soon, we'll talk about how these things uh, operate in a circuit. 